Yeah, welcome also uh, uh, from my side here in Seattle for the uh, full line event and the golf uh, all track event. Let me introduce myself. My name is Hendrik Muth. I'm responsible for product marketing and strategy, Volkswagen of America. Relatively new in this position since summer, but uh, not new to the US in this market. I've spent the last four years uh, working here, Volkswagen of America, different position. I worked on the uh, performance side of the business, the Golf R, the GTI, uh, also the R-Line expansion. Had a lot of uh, fights there with our colleagues and headquarters in Germany of making sure we get two transmissions for the Golf R and making the uh, stability control defeatable. Those are those typical talks that we have what is important for the US market. I was also responsible for the accessories business. We have a very strong localized accessories business here. And uh, then more later for the uh, portfolio strategy for Volkswagen brand in the US market. So what will make us successful uh, in the future? And this is now very exciting. I mean, the most exciting as a product marketing guy is when you see those products then launching and when you have the chance then to present them to you, also to our dealers, to our customers and then see them soon on the road. Um, I also have privatized to the US market. My family is half American. Uh, my, my wife is American. My kids are uh, so all over the place in the US, but it's the first time I'm here in Seattle. So I'm also very excited. Um, the weather is going to be awesome, I heard, over the next days. So we will have, uh, as Sean already mentioned, very nice rides in this one. Again, as a product marketing guy, I wouldn't have mind if it would be rainy also for the next days because I think the, the car that you will be driving is perfectly capable of handling all roads conditions uh, out there with the Golf All Track. But before Megan will uh, give you more details on the Golf All Track, um, as John stated, I'll give you an update on the uh, Volkswagen's US position here in the market. This is a very important time for us here in the market. Of course, over the last 12, year, uh, 12 months, we have TDI. Yeah? And uh, uh, that's been really accompanying us um, uh, entirely here. And we are highly committed there in making things right. Making things right for our customers, of course, for our dealers, for the American public. And we are highly committed and have been very diligently closely work with the US, US agencies, with EPA, CARB, everybody <coughs> involved in this one. And I'll tell you a little bit further on the next slides where we are here. Secondly, I want to stress we are, we remain firmly committed to the US market. We want to sustainably grow in this region. And we have made over the last years and months, and are currently also doing action, to underline this. For example, we are spending over a time frame of four years from 2015 to 2019, over seven billion dollars into the North American regions for further uh, product lineup, for infrastructure and other activities. We see this one here as a growth market for the, for the uh, Volkswagen brand. And some of these activities are of course now coming up and that we are very excited. Um, not only this year the Golf All, All Track, we have major product launches coming ahead of us. In 2017, in the second quarter, um, we have our all new mid-size SUV designed in the US built in the US in our Chattanooga plant, really with our US customers in mind, really right in, right in the heart of this growing mid-size SUV market. That will be followed also by <coughs> our T1 long wheel base, uh, next generation that will also be locally built in Puebla. So there's a big product offensive coming up and uh, we are very excited. We think we have a very competitive product that are coming. One of them you will drive, of course, tomorrow very intensively. The other one will come a little bit later. Um, but let me talk first about TDI. Yeah, as mentioned, we are committed, highly committed, making things right. We're really working day and night on this topic. Um, we have made significant step forward, but we still, we are aware we have a long way to go. We have to regain the trust and really build the confidence there again. Um, but we have reached a preliminary settlement agreement for all two liter TDIs, 475,000 uh, vehicles for the Volkswagen and Audi brand. This one is still to be um, confirmed in the court uh, on October 18th is the next session planned. Um, what are the elements? 
um, was announced also, of course, uh, in the media. Um, the customers have the opportunity uh, that we buy back the cars, that we terminate the leases, or that those vehicles are modified um, pending regulatory approval of this measurement. And this is an amount of up to $10 billion um, that is put aside for these activities. That's not everything. In addition, $2.7 billion are being invested into an uh, environment trust that is managed by a neutral trustee for past and future excess emissions. And then finally, another $2 million will be spent over a time frame of 10 years to support zero emissions vehicles. Yeah, also neutral. And that is majorly done in terms of infrastructure investments, but also in terms of <coughs> education awareness. Again, this independently matter. Um, we are very hopeful and confident then to get the, the confirmation in October and working then closely with our customers and, and, and dealers. And also we are parallel working um, on getting a, a, a settlement agreement for the three liter TDIs that are, that are in our tour rec for the Volkswagen brand and also 